Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. Today we're going to discuss entering insurance EOB payments. The first thing I do when I enter in an insurance check is I go to the top of the EOB and find my first patient. Then I will go to that patient's ledger screen. So to do that, we'll go ahead and click on ledger here at the top of our screen. We'll type in the patient's chart number, which is normally the first three letters of the patient's last name, followed by the first two letters of the first name. And here we found Thomas Smith. Okay, we'll go ahead and press enter. Now in this case, Thomas has, uh, has a lot of outstanding uh, procedures that need to be paid by the insurance, not only for himself, but for Adrian and for Rebecca, his wife, and for his daughter. Okay, and so um, we'll go ahead and Although this EOB is for multiple patients, we start from Thomas's ledger, and even though we're starting from Thomas's ledger, we'll be able to apply that EOB for all of the patients on the EOB. Okay, I'm going to show you what I mean here. So starting from Thomas's record, we're going to go ahead and enter in um, our initial payment for that EOB. So on the left-hand side of your screen, we'll go ahead and click on New Insurance Payment here on the side. This will take us to our batch payment entry screen. From here, we'll enter in the check number for our EOB and then the total dollar amount of that insurance check, which in this case is $2,167.27 or 20 cents to be exact. We'll go ahead and click on distribute to apply this to the various patients. And so automatically, the program's smart enough to know we started from Thomas's ledger to pull up Thomas Smith. It also pulled up is insurance because we started from Thomas's ledger and knows to pull up Delta Dental of Arizona. Okay, so now we go through our EOB and there's several ways to apply it. One way is we can click on the insurance estimate amount here and it'll pop it in automatically. But perchance we have a perfect match, and that should be the case in most cases, we can click on the distribute estimate button here at the top. And this will use the coverage tables in Dentamax uh, to apply the percentage of what the insurance owes, the insurance portion on these uh, outstanding uh, procedures that need to be paid on. Okay, And so let's say we have a perfect match in the EOB. This matches what they're paying. Just click on Distribute Estimate, and it pops in the dollar amounts. And so for Thomas, we're done. We can go ahead and click on Post Payments here. Okay, And then when we're done with Thomas, we can go ahead and proceed to the other family members for Thomas. So we will enter in. Uh, Smith, and we can go ahead and go on to Rebecca, okay, and do the same thing. We can go ahead and click on Distribute Estimate, okay, and we'll go ahead and Post Payments. And then once again, we will now go to the next Smith family member, Adrian, and we can go ahead and either click on Estimate or on these other buttons, and perchance the, met the numbers don't match, we can manually type in our own. In this case, they do. We'll go ahead and pop that in there. Actually, we'll do the estimate amounts. I will go ahead and post payments. As you notice, though, as we apply these payments, um, it decrements our posted amount. Our goal is to get it down to zero, right? And so we've applied payments to all these family members for the Smith family. We'll go ahead and click on post payments. Now we'll go down to our next patient, Stephen Cook. So we'll go ahead and find Stephen Cook here. And uh, we can go ahead and distribute his amounts and post payments. Okay. Well, let's say that, um, and we'll go ahead also and since the claim has been marked as being paid. So this sets this claim as being complete so that we don't have to worry about it anymore. Let's say that uh, it's Friday or Thursday. We're ready to head off for our weekend and we don't have time to finish perhaps uh, entering in our uh, entire EOB check. Not a problem. Okay, we still have more to be applied, but I can go ahead and exit the screen. Okay. When I come back to work on Monday, I can go up to my um, payment screen right here, click on Find Unapplied Deposits, and so these are my insurance EOB uh, checks that haven't been completely applied yet. Okay, go ahead and click on that. You can see from demo purposes, I have a lot of these left. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and find the one that uh, we were applying here at the bottom from 9 13 2012. Total amount was 21.67.20 cents. Double click on this, it will show me that uh, the uh, total amount of the check that I originally had, so how much I've applied so far, and the patients I've applied it to. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on Distribute, and now from here I can finish applying this insurance EOB check to the rest of my patients. In this case, I just have one patient left, 
Dean Anderson. I'll go ahead and type in his name here, his chart number. And we'll go ahead and pull that up. And we'll go ahead and distribute his amounts. Takes my imposted amount down to zero. I'll go ahead and post payments and close and close out. Now if I want, I can go back into my ledger screen. Let's go ahead and pull up the Smith family. And we'll go ahead and pull up the dad. And we can see that uh, with that insurance payment, we've gone ahead and zeroed out his family balances. Everything is paid off. Uh, and so I hope you find applying insurance EOB checks a simple, easy thing to do. The program is designed to make it easy for these large EOB checks. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this tip of the week. And we look forward to next week.